hey what's up we're Laldeep here for index3d.com with another very exciting tutorial and today we are gonna be rigging a default cube and you can download the free cube from my gumroad page or you can pay whatever you like oh my god wow or you can support me on patreon and get all the project files So we are in default scene so let's delete everything except the cube and then select the cube go to edit mode and then we will push it up so G C to push it up and then I will press uh, and hold control to snap it to the ground now we need extra geometry to work with so I will add one loop cut here and then that's it for the modeling now let's add a uh, armature shift a armature and then go to the viewport display and then enable the axis so now i want it to match with the global axis so select this and then go to active element and then rx minus 90 so now it's matching with the global axis now press shift a sorry go to edit mode then press shift a once and then uh, Position our cursor to here, shift S cursor to selection, then shift A again, and then shift S cursor to selection, and then shift A again. And now let's select these three bones and go to individual origin. And now we will scale it. So let's make it uh, a little smaller. And now what I will do is I will like uh, I will add one more bone. So shift S cursor to selection, and then one more bone. So this bone. Uh, is to control the upper area of the cube and this one is for the lower area and this one is for the middle area and this one is for uh, to control the push and stretch and this is root bone so we can move everything so let's uh, parent it so select everything like everything and then parent everything to the root bone control p offset and then now I will parent this to this one control P keep offset and then this to this one control P keep offset so now let's re rename everything properly so I will make it this one is top controller T underscore ETRL top controller and this one is S stretch controller so underscore ETRL and this one is bottom so b underscore c t r l and this one is stretch bone so i will just name it right and this one is root bone so name it root and now let's see so when we move everything will move and when we move this bottom this two will move and then when we move this this move and this is and this so now let's parent so I will select this and then this and control P with empty groups so this will create a empty group over here so let's delete all the extra groups we need only three groups so for this and then middle vertices and then bottom vertices so I will delete the stretch and root now let's organize it I organize it so top should be in the on the top and bottom should be the bottom the top middle bottom now let's uh, go to edit mode and assign vertices so we need this four vertices to assign to this bone which is top controller and this vertices to control by this bone which is s controller and this vertices to control by bottom controller so now if we move this one it will move the upper vertices this will mid vertices and this will lower lower vertices so now let's uh, set up constants so we need one constant on this bone which is going to be our stretch to constraint and we want to stretch this one to that bone so select the rig and then we want it to stretch to the top controller and now we need uh, more constant so let's see how it looks for now 
so if you move see it's kind of working but if you move it sideways uh, it's not like working see it's creating weird uh, artifacts so what we can do we can like add few more constant to that one as well so we need two more last two uh, constant which is going to be copy rotation and one more copy rotation so i have a like in-depth tutorial about all the constants so you can watch that on my uh, channel go to playlist and look for uh, all about blender constants i think and now i want to select this one top controller and then the armature and bottom controller and i will set it to 0.5 so now if i rotate this see it's like perfectly aligned everything is cool now all we have to do is make our like make our cube more smooth with the subdivision and bevel so all we have to do is select this and then add a bevel modifier i will enable the wireframe so you can see it properly then i will set the limit mode to weight so as you can see now nothing is uh, getting beveled because we need to assign a weight to the edges so select everything and then deselect this three uh, this edge loop and then click here or press n and then increase this to one now see all the selected edges are getting beveled now i will decrease the bevel and i will increase the number of segment and then increase the profile to one now i will add like last modifier which is going to be subdivision surface modifier and then i will just increase the subdivision to three or you can increase more to make it more smooth and i will just disable this so now we have the default cube shade smooth uh, rig default cube so now if we go to pose mode and then we can now do this now uh, if you want it to like switch a bit more then we will have to select the stretch controller bone and then i mean the stretch bone and then go to the constant tab and increase this volume variation to like if we increase it it will create more variation and if we make it zero it will do nothing so i think the three is go i like the value three so i used three in my example like see and then and this stretch controller is to control the stretch like that we can even control it like that and then we also we can also rotate it like that so if you want to like create a dancing animation with the cube you can do that all right that's it and if you enjoy watching this tutorial please give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and of course don't forget to follow us on social media and we will see you in the next one